We begin with a bizarre standoff in spring. Deputies surrounding a cow that got loose in one neighborhood. This video has already been viewed thousands of times on our Facebook page since we first posted it a couple of hours ago. Now we are learning how the steer got into that neighborhood. Hello, I'm Dominique Soxa. And I'm Keith Garvin in for Bill. It happened in the village of Bridgestone neighborhood near Kirkendall and Spring Cypress Road. That is where Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil spoke with neighbors about what happened. Sophia. Well, you know, it's rare that something like this ever happens, and the Harris County Precinct 4 Constable's Office tells us that they tried to steer the animal in the right direction after it ran away from this slaughterhouse into this neighborhood. Was it a calculated move or just luck? Thought every day you come outside and see a cow running down the street. <laughs> Neighbors in spring witnessed a runaway steer who wasn't in the mood to have its name changed to Sirloin. We came outside and there were three cop cars and there was a cow coming down the street. The steer was able to get away from its owner when he was dropping him off to this slaughterhouse in spring. The meat of the story, there was a space between the trailer and the chute and the steer decided to make its move. He was headed to Kirkendall down this way, down the street. The stakes were high. The steer somehow dodged traffic on Spring Cypress Road and made it all the way through this neighborhood to the other side. And he's trotting down the road, you know, and uh, th about three cop cars trying to block him in and, you know, he, they try and block him and he just come right around it, just tried around it and the next one would come up and it was it was comical. Many neighbors overheard the commotion and saw the standoff between the steer and police. It was tranquilized, but law says a cow or steer can't be slaughtered for 30 days if it's been tranquilized. Well, great. He bought himself some time. He bought himself <laughs> some time. That's good. He had a good day. And we're told that standoff was about an hour and they actually had to use a tranquilizer gun a couple times, but that steer is back with its owner. And we don't know if they'll be beefing up security, but it's safe to say that that steer is legendary. Reporting live from Spring, Sophia Boslake, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, we know where the beef is now, Sophia. Thank you. All right, and see more of the video of the steer loose in that neighborhood. We have the story on click2houston.com as well as on our KPRC app.